Hi, Director of Photography, Alec Watson, back with a tutorial on Color EQ. I love working with Color EQ. There's hardly a photo I ever work on that goes out that didn't have Color EQ work on it. And, and what does that mean exactly? It, I use it to create interesting ways to make the subject pop out from the background. And I'll show you a few ways of doing that. Let me show you the interface first. So here is Color EQ and you'll see a bunch of colored sliders there. And these are just selections. They can be, they'll either affect saturation, brightness, hue, or contrast. Let's look at a saturation one. I bet you if I slide the reds, Sarah's skin color here, actually probably more on the oranges, there it'll become really oversaturated. There's not apparently a ton of red on her. There we go. That would look terrible and I'm not gonna do that. In fact, very often I actually take skin color and just desaturate it just the tiniest amount uh, so that skin becomes a, a little more about the contrast. What I'm generally more interested in is how I can pop the subject off the background and so I'll work with the background. Now, I can see in this background, this background is very cool. Cool meaning it's got uh, um, kind of a blue cyan color, not that it's like hip and cool. Though it, though it is kind of a hip gem. Anyway, if I take my cursor and I put it on this background, rather than me having to select a cyan or blue or get the right color, this is going to select the color that I'm after and it's going to change the saturation. So if I drag the mouse down, it'll actually pull the background into black and white without affecting my subject. Um, which is maybe kind of a bit of a 90s digital thing to do, but in this case, it actually looks pretty cool. And you know what? I'm going to make a snapshot of that. We'll call that black and white. It's just interesting. I'm not sure I'm gonna keep that, but I can go back to it anytime. Let's bring that back up. Let's go the other way with that. Let's saturate it more. But once we're saturated more, we'll switch over to hue. And inside our hues, as we move the mouse, we're gonna slide to greens in one direction and probably purples in the other. There we go. It's a very purple background. I actually like, I like the blue, but just a little further as it's just starting to reach into the greens. Kind of got that uh, really awesome pop against the skin color. And remember, I, I desaturated the skin color a little bit. It didn't look so, didn't look so lively. But now look at the pop between the cyan background and the skin color. So there's now this very nice, even smooth skin color and it pops out of the, pops out of the background in a really great way. The other thing we can do with that is take the contrast and give it a contrast boost. So our darks become darker and our colors become a little more intense. If we toggle this on and off, we can see, wow, there is quite a difference in the punch. The, this uh, more cyan, darker version really seems to pull a subject forward in an interesting way. I like that a lot better. I'm gonna make a snapshot of that. We'll call that cyan contrast. Another way that's not with color EQ, but like as we're talking about popping our subject, is to throw on what's called a post-crop vignette. Uh, vignettes, we often think about uh, the darkening in the background and that's all it is. It, it, we could make it lighter. Lighter probably is not the way we wanna go. Um, that's kind of got, uh, I don't know, that old school vibe that we don't really want. If we just give that a hint of darkening, what it does, is it focuses into the center. And ironically, we spend a lot of money on our lenses to correct the vignetting, and then we put it back in post. But you know what? It sure makes the shot focus towards the center and really pop. And for me, that is kind of an awesome improvement. Uh, original and deep version with our subject popping. And that's a great way to use color EQ.